quick question. Have you ever seen a dead Star Wars game before? I know I haven't, but that wasn't until I played Star Wars Rivals. And if you don't know about Star Wars Rivals, then that's probably why this game is dead. So Star Wars Rivals was a mobile game that came out in June 2017 in Australia and New Zealand, and then later in Canada. It was only a soft release because they were planning on releasing it worldwide eventually sometime later on. But that time never came, and we'll see why exactly. Okay, so this is Star Wars Rivals, the main menu. Um, you can get a crate, you can check your rank, you can go to battle, uh, there's some guilds. Um, the storefront, uh, we're just gonna quickly grab a free crate, see what we get. Okay, we got a Stormtrooper Commander, Let's some credits, let's check again. Uh, Rebel Trooper, hmm, Six, hoping for something a little bit better, but eh. Commander, First Order Trooper. But yeah, if I didn't mention, this game is not only dead, but it's getting closed on October 11th. So, at this point, the developers are just giving away free unlimited credits. Um, well, in, in crates, free unlimited crates. Plus credits, um, we'll, we'll see what I mean by that. If I go to store, there's crates here. If I go to currency, look at this. Stockpile of credits for zero, like, Credits, I guess. You buy credits with credits. <laughs> okay. But yeah, zero credits. Because, I mean, if the game is getting closed on October 11th, the people who did spend money on this game and microtransactions, they're getting everything refunded. And, you know, the game is pretty much... You, know, you just try to get as most <laughs> out of the game as you can. Um, you can check out the heroes here. Uh, that's what I like about this game, for example. There's some really cool heroes in this game that you don't really see in any other Star Wars game. Like, uh, Captain Ethano. You don't see that this guy in any other game. Maybe the Star Wars Lego game, but no other actual Star Wars game. And uh, he looks like a pretty cool character. Uh, what else we got here? We got Lobot? What other game can you think of where you can actually play as Lobot? only in Star Wars Rivals, a dead Star Wars game. Um, but yeah, I mean, not only that, but the character models in this game are really well done too. Like, they look great. Look at this. This is for a mobile game too. It's, it's pretty crazy. Star Wars Galaxies of Heroes has nothing on this. Um, I don't know about this, <laughs> this Han Solo here. I mean, he looks, he looks fine, but his icon, it looks like some old hobo version of Han Solo. He looks like he's starving and homeless. Uh, I'm not really sure about that icon right there, that avatar. Everyone else has, has a great avatar, except that Han Solo. But yeah, let's go to the rank, the ranking here, and I'm gonna show you exactly why this game is dead. So, I did not you some quick context I did not play this game I haven't played this game since uh, I first downloaded it back last year like last summer and I only like played one game just just before I started recording just uh, so I know what the heck I'm doing here and that one game I jumped up from uh, rank 25 to rank 6 yes sixth place in the world <laughs> that just gives you an idea of uh, how many people are playing this game. And just looking at the other players on the list, there's a lot of generic names on here. Like, when you start the game, it gives you just uh, a Luke icon, and it calls you player, and then uh, something, 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 whatever. So player 7005, player 6102, uh, and uh, so on. As you can see, there's a lot of these here. So a lot of people like downloaded this game just to give it a try, just to try it out, see for like you know what's the all the hype, you know, a new Star Wars game on the block, you know, you want to see what's it all about. And uh, as you can see, not a lot of people uh, stuck around. Uh, this guy Yukis, he actually changed his icon from the uh, default Luke to Poe Dameron. 
and actually changed his name. But he's not playing anymore. Let's see the uh, number one player in the world. Number one player in the world also has a generic name. And uh, they, got a lot, they got a lot of points. But to be honest, it's not hard getting those points. And then this guy probably only played about, I don't know, uh, 10 games or so. <laughs> like if I go to previous event, Okay, so this is the previous event. As you can see, these guys actually played a bit. Um, El Pap Papiri Galactico with uh, 305 points. Blaze44 with uh, 215 points and so on. They actually changed their icons, their names. They actually played a little bit, but let's see. Can I go? Okay, so I can't go any pre uh, like any more. This is as far as I can go. And as you can see... It wasn't that much different. There were actually a lot more unique uh, players. You can just tell by the icons and the names, but they stopped playing ages ago. And this is the current event we're in now. We're um, somehow <laughs> like uh, level six. I'm sorry, ranked six in the whole world of Star Wars Rivals. If I wanted to, I could probably be uh, ranked number one in this game. If I actually cared too much but yeah um the game's dead i don't really care <laughs> i didn't care when the game was still alive but um let's how about we just jump into a game so you can get a an idea of what the game's all about let's see if you can find okay so first of all we gotta pick a character so let's get luke lando and leia i'm not i pick han but i don't i'm not too big of a fan of that hobo han okay so we gotta pick some troops uh, okay, so you got Bespin Wingard, First Order Stormtroopers, Imperial Stormtroopers, uh, Jakku Pirates, Rebel Infantry, Resistance Division, Death Troopers, and Rebel Spec Forces, the uh, Pathfinders. I don't have those unlocked, so I'll just go with the Rebel Pathfinders. Uh, Rebel Troopers. I wish I had the Pathfinders. Okay, so let's uh, see if we can even find anyone. Because, yeah, this game is dead. It took me a while to find somebody to play with just before, and okay, here we go. I played before against, uh, it might, hmm. I think I played before against a bot, and I think this might be a bot too. I'm not sure. Or it might be an actual player that never changed their name. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, so it looks like we're in the Death Star here. Battle begins. We're playing as Luke. Okay, so this is how the game plays. Um, it's it's not a... Okay, here's one thing that I think a lot of people did not like. Is that you can't really choose where you go. You can choose where you want to shoot. Like, I can choose to shoot this guy, like, all day. <laughs> but I can't choose where, I, like, I want to go on the map. Like, I'm pretty much limited. So... I don't think a lot of people were uh, fans of that. Okay, let's see if I have my, uh, can do my special ability. Lightsaber slash! Quick kill right there. Okay, so... I'm Luke, and the other guy is Han, so right here. <sighs> Just like that. And I wasn't even, like, trying. I was, like, uh, facing other people, and this guy... This bot, I'm assuming he's a bot, could not kill me. But, yeah, it's... You know, this is pretty much the gameplay right here. It's uh, quite repetitive. There's not really much you can do here. You just you just aim for your ability. Well, let's see, Leia's is focus fire. Okay, so everyone focuses on that stormtrooper. He's dead. And, yeah, this is... Pretty much the gameplay right here. I mean, amazing graphics. The graphics are are so good for a mobile game. I think they're the best I've seen yet. Like the the level design, um, the character models. There are they're all amazing for a mobile game. Like really good. But the gameplay, you know, this the gameplay is why this game never cut on and why this game never got. Uh, worldwide release. 
Okay, um, I got 100 points. He's got only 10. I don't know where the heck he's on the map. I think he's... Is he there? Okay. Gonna kill him pretty fast. Okay, he's dead now. Okay, so I think he just keeps... Did I, I didn't kill Han? I thought I killed Han. Okay, hmm. I guess you just keep on playing until... Let's see, Lando. I guess you just keep playing until uh, the timer runs out. Which is like 33 seconds left. Ooh, one shot, one kill. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Not much, not much to it. Let's see if I can get some, rack up some more points and maybe get to uh, number one in the world <laughs> before this game dies. Before, it com well, the game's already dead before it completely closes. And I'll be forever and ever the number one player of Star Wars Rivals. And victory right there. Again, I'm pretty sure this is a bot. <laughs> pretty sure this is a bot. Okay, so everyone gets their rewards. I got a common crate, which, you know, who cares? <laughs> I could just keep playing the free crates over and over again. Kind of almost feels like a cheat code. But, uh... Yeah, that's the game right there. I just wanted to give you everyone a, you know, an idea of uh, what the game's all about. Oh, I'm, I'm tier four now. Look at that, tier four. Uh, and uh, again, I just play two games right there. So that's pretty much it. Uh, that is Star Wars Rivals. Uh, it's it's a shame. It's never good to see a Star Wars game die like this. But, you know, I, I, I kind of expected it. When I first saw this game, I was just like, really? Huh? I don't know if uh, this is really going to catch on. And, well, it didn't. But, uh, yeah, um, that'll do it for this video, guys. Just want to make a quick video about Star Wars Rivals and uh, give you all a glimpse of why, what it was all about and why it ended up failing. If you want more videos like this, then definitely subscribe to the channel and just subscribe for Star Wars videos in general. And I'll see you on the next one.